All right, here is a quick performance of tag. Okay, do me a favor. Whenever you want, say stop, okay? Ready? Go. Stop right here. Okay, remember this card. You got it? Okay, I'll put it flushed back into the deck and give it a few more extra mixes just to be sure. So your card is really lost there. I don't know where it is, but I'm gonna find it in a very special way. Watch. One, two, three. Your card is now attached onto that chain. And that, my friends, is tagged. All right, we are gonna learn how to make this. This is the gimmick, all right? Now, it looks complicated, but trust me, it's pretty easy, and I'll guide you through every step of the way. So, let's see what we need to make this. First things first, if you have a cutting board, that will be awesome. This is mine, and you can see I've been using it for a long time. <laughs> you need a dog tag chain. This is called a dog tag chain and of course you need its hook so that you can loop it into a chain. I'll leave links in the discussion on where you can buy this online. Next you need this very important. This is just a plastic sheet uh, that they use in files, paper files, right? So I just cut out a section of it and that's what it looks like. Again, I'll leave links to where you can find this online. And then you need uh, some scotch tape that scotch tape simple scotch tape you need a duplicate card any card you can use but i'm using bicycle you need a pair of scissors and of course a razor blade and that's all let's start with the chain as you can see this is a very long chain so you need to measure this according to your height so what i normally do is i loop the chain around my neck and let it hang until right about there, the lower chest area. And then, I just take the chain, I give it a, a quick snip, and then that is the perfect length. By the way, I am six foot tall. Okay, after snipping your chain, you should have your perfect length. You are gonna go to one end of the chain, and you're gonna count five beads, okay? Only five. And then you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna go there and just snip it off. Now keep this piece, we will use it later. Now that you've got this piece, we are gonna construct this card, okay? So grab your duplicate card, grab your blade, and your plastic sheet. First, we're gonna start by cutting that card, okay? If you use bicycle cards, you will notice that at this particular area, there is an intersection of lines. We're gonna cut in an X shape right about there. Let me show you what I mean. So you're just gonna take the card and you're gonna cut very tiny axes just like that. Okay, just very small. Right, just like this. You should see there are two axes here. You can't see it, but you can see it from the front, just like this. All right. Now this will allow you to take your bead and you're just gonna push it through that X. Take your time and do this, all right? push it through that X on one end and on the other end just push it in as well and you should end up with something like this as you can see it is already looking pretty good right next grab your plastic sheet and we are going to cut this plastic sheet as well i normally do i don't really measure it but i normally do about let's say maybe that much we don't need the rest we need that much and 
just a bit too much. We just cut a little bit more. Okay, we don't need that that much, and that should be good to go. This is about I would say uh, five cm by zero point five cm. Okay, once again, 5 by 0 0.5 centimeters. Next, we are going to fold this plastic sheet, okay? So you want to take the plastic sheet, and what I normally do is, I want to fold it just about there. Not half, but slightly less than half, just right about there. And I'm going to give it a good, good crease, just like this. Okay, make sure you give it a strong and nice crease. Okay, you should have something like this. A short end and a long end okay next take the short end and just fold that top down just a little bit about half a centimeter or so fold that top end down just like that and give it a good crease okay you should end up with something like this so you have that that and a long end all right something like this and make sure you really give it a good crease all right put it down on the table and really crease it good Okay, this looks good. Next, we are gonna attach the plastic sheet onto the card. Okay, so look over here. You should see the beads right there. This plastic sheet is gonna go directly below that bead right there, okay? Make sure you attach the long end onto the card. So, grab your scotch tape. Get about that much. And then align that plastic sheet to the card. Just right about there, right below, and just tape them up. Okay, something like uh, something like this. Tape it nice and good. Do a few more times. I like to tape it twice for security purposes. And there we go. That is it. That is the gimmick. After that, just give it one more good crease at the end there, and this is good to go. Grab your other card, and you are going to cut two X's here and here, just like how we did the first card. You should have something like this, and again, take your other long chain, and you're going to push them through the card. This time, pull them all the way in. Push the other end in. And pull it all the way. Finally, just simply attach this hook onto the end of the chain. This gimmick is complete. Finally, I like to adjust the hook so that it is somewhere on the center of the chain. Right about there. That's it. That is the completed gimmick. You have this one and you have this one. Now you are ready to perform.